Hi everyone, welcome back. We're Rugby for Days. My name is Stefan and this is Daniel. We run a rugby blog. It's literally rugbyfordays.com. You can go check us out there. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much for your time to, to view this video. Yes. In today's video, we're going to talk about Sunday and Sunday's games. It's going to be quite spectacular. The last games we're going to see for the weekend and actually just before for the quarters. So it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. So let's jump into it. Of course, the first game of the day is Namibia Canada. Now Daniel we literally just spoke about this. I'm so excited. What do you think about this game? Well I think this will be the most hyped game. For, for the weekend? For the weekend. Okay. Because both teams didn't win a game at yes. all. Both were th thrashed by three teams yes. in all their games. Mm -hmm. Italy beat them, New Zealand beat them, South Africa beat them. Yes. So they're desperate for a win. This is like going, this can go either way. Mm. I'm backing Canada for this one. Okay. Um, but not by far. Uh, I'm backing Namibia. Okay. You've, you've probably <laughs> seen me in some of the videos. I have a Namibian jersey. I'm going to back Namibia. If you are a Namibian, please comment. <laughs> please smash that like button. Just showing that Namibia is going to win. Okay. Because <laughs> I want Namibia to win. That's going to be quite cool. So this is, this is, this is <laughs> I think, going to be good. Because both play a different style of rugby, but yet so similar. Yes. And um, similar. I agree. So it's going to be interesting because no one has a rush defense, so it's going to be quite a running game. Yes. So I hope by scoring both ways, like a like a 40, 40, 42 to 40 something, you know. That would be a high scoring cool. game both ways. Yes. That'll be nice to see. That would be very nice Let's to see. Let's see what they can do actually when they're not outclassed 100%. Yes, agreed. Yeah. Okay, so of course then the second game is going to be USA against Tonga. Which I think is going to be a very good game. I'm actually backing Tonga for that game. I think Tonga's going to come out. You know, the game against, uh, I think it was against France, wasn't yeah. it? That they played and they almost got back to, to beat France. I mean, mm. it was really close. I think, yeah. you know, they're very excited for this game. Tonga can show up any day and also, you know, they can beat anyone on any day. Like we said, they almost beat France. There was a 23 21 mm. final score. And USA hasn't been up to scratch where they want to be. Yes. Yes, they, they hyped up the, the World Cup but didn't deliver. Yes. So I actually back Tonga as well. I think Tonga is mm. going to take it by at least 10, 8 to 10 points. 8 to 10 points. I think that's going to be so a good game. Come on, Tonga. Then, of course, Wales, Uruguay. Now, Wales, you know, top ranked team in the world playing against Uruguay. I don't think it's going to be that, that good. You know, we spoke about Australia beating Uruguay with only 30 something points, 38 or so on. Uh, we were quite disappointed it wasn't higher yeah. than, than that because it was 45 yeah. 10 or something like that. Now, if Wales is going to play Uruguay, Wales doesn't have a good running rugby style, that's my opinion. They are more tactical with kicking and going for, for punishing, you know, you. punishing you with a three all the time because they have good kickers in the, in the team. So I think it's going to be like a 35 point difference and that's going to be quite high scoring for Wales. Okay. That's interesting because I haven't seen Lee Halfpenny play a game yet. Mm -hmm. I haven't. Uh, if he played, I missed it, or he played a half, I missed it because they, they started Liam Williams yes. on 15 all time. Yes. And I think the running capabilities lies with Jonathan Davies, which I love. As you can see in our 15 man team, I picked yes. him as well. 15 man video, the link will be in the description as well. Um, you know, I love Jonathan Davies, and he's the runner. He and Liam Williams is the runners. And yes. if you unleash someone like George North, he can be devastating. Yes. But like you said, Wales is more chip into the corner, you know, take the three, yes. take the three, and once you see you, you're 14 points, you know, 15 points behind. Yes. And now they just shut you up. <clears throat> yes. Okay. But um, I think Wales will play their B team, and that will encourage them to start running. So oh, I actually yeah. think it'll be a 40 points difference. Match. 40 points. Okay. That's gonna be that's gonna be really yeah. interesting. Mm. And then the last game of of Sunday, which is gonna be. Such a big game, not as big as Namibia Canada. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Uh, but Japan, Scotland, okay. Now, this is going to be quite a big game. Let's quickly jump into the pools. As I'm going to the pools, what do you think about this game? Who so, this is a must win for both, which is makes it more high stakes. So, yes. we, we chatted in the, in the Saturday, Friday prediction game that if Ireland win, beat uh, Samoa, I think. Yes. That if they if they play if if Japan beats Scotland they're going through yes. if Scotland beat Japan Japan is going to bonus point they're going through yeah you know so yes. it's 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 a win win lose it's, you know, it's, it's everything is just mixed into one and it's going to be sad to see one of them go 
Because Scotland didn't have the great start to the World Cup they wanted. Yes. And they got back into it. Uh, Ireland obviously losing Japan and Japan just coasting on whatever that is that's going to keep that engine running. That, that's like the train that never stops running. So what I, what I think is going to happen is I think Japan is going to beat Scotland. Yes, I uh, agree. Roughly with 15. I think, with I think it's going to be closer because Scotland wants to qualify and go through the quarters. That That is definitely a point. So let's see what we're both backing, uh, backing Japan at that point. But the interesting thing is that if the, if the hurricane hits, we didn't speak about that earlier, which yes. I, I forgot about completely, is that if Ireland get a 0-0 draw against Samoa, which is the regulations, of what World Rugby has determined if there's a, if it's the weather, if the game can't be played, it's zero zero draw. Now, um, otherwise, it is at the, as it stands in that moment. So let's say they play twelve minutes and three zero to Ireland, they will get the, the three zero victory. Yes. Um, but because of this high stakes game, World Rugby actually said they'll reschedule the match. Mm, yes. There's a oh, there's a chance. So we we don't want it to happen, obviously, because that 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 will not be lucky if it's not yes. if it, if it falls out. Agreed. But um, we'll see, and probably we, we, we will see Japan and Ireland going through. Yes, I agree with you then. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, Scotland not playing the standard that they should play, um, I feel for them, I've never thought that, that Scotland is this big unit in World, in world Rugby. No. Uh, they have proven me wrong in the Six Nations a couple of times before, but I don't think they're going to progress. If Japan just wins it, it's going to be 18 Ireland are backing against Samoa, Ireland beating them with four points, bringing them to 15. Scotland's going to end with 10. Even yeah. if they get a bonus, but it's going to be 11, so it's not going to be enough. Four tries, 12. So, yes. yeah, that's the best, best case scenario for them. Best case scenario, so I don't think they're going to progress through, but it's going to be a high intense, uh, intensity game because Japan beating Ireland, you know, there's such a high stake for them because yeah. their whole nation is going to really like back them. For this game, it's going to be yeah. there's going to be so much pressure on the players yes, because exactly. they need to perform. They can't be the Japan, you know, losing out to to you know thirty nations. They should be the Japan beating Ireland, beating yeah. South Africa. So it's going to be high stakes for them. A pressure. Will they, you know, keep the pressure on them? Not going to bother them going out playing the best rugby, or is the pressure going to get to them? That I don't know. I think that's going to be interesting, so I'm very excited for that game. Yes, and then the question of the day is, do you think Japan is a third bondage with the fans and the vibe and playing at home? Mm, Did that make the difference in this World Cup for Japan? That's a good question. And will that carry them through against Scotland? That is my question. That is what I want to know. That is what I want to hear from you guys. Smash that like button as Stefano said for Namibia Canada game. Yes. And then please leave a comment who you think is going to win this yes. weekend, who's going to be doing. What do you guys think about the typhoon or the hurricane is going to hit? If it's yes. going to eat, it's going to miss. Our prayers go out that it doesn't eat. Because we want yes. to see some good rugby as well. And then, yeah, guys, thank you for joining in this video. Awesome. Have a good day, guys. Thanks, guys.